Hi guys, welcome to my Christmas vlog. It's Christmas, I have my Christmas jumper on. I decorated the house. So today I am making one of my favorite soups. It's the butternut squash soup with some carrots, onions and garlic. And I have some orange, coriander, coconut milk, vegetable stock and some curry paste. It's the red Thai curry paste, it's one of my favorites. It's a little bit spicy, but it works really, really well with the butternut squash and with the carrots and orange. So I'm really excited for this one because when it's cold outside, you want some nice soup. You don't want something heavy, but you want to enjoy your soup. All these ingredients are vegan and they're plant-based. No animal products used. And yeah, I'm ready for my soup. So I just put some olive oil in. I'm gonna put the garlic and the onions. It's one onion, one big onion, two cloves of garlic. Let it warm up nicely. Then I'm gonna put the butternut squash with the carrots and orange all together with like one tablespoon of Thai curry paste. I love the red one, but you can use green one if you prefer, but I just think red one tastes nicer with the butternut squash. Then I'm gonna put some of the vegetable stock and the coconut milk in. Let it shimmer for like half an hour, 40 minutes, and then just blend everything out. So once you've blended everything together, you can just put some coriander on top and you can enjoy your Christmas dinner. I think it's a lovely starter and everyone loves butternut squash. It's nice and spicy. It's nice for the winter when it's cold outside because it's quite thick. And yeah, it's just a lovely vegan, vegan soup. You need to do this for five minutes. So all the onion and garlic is nice. Okay, so the onion is nice and brown. So I'm just going to add the butternut squash with the carrots. It's so simple, guys. I mean, you just need to put everything together with the orange, with the vegetable stock. Make sure coconut milk and then the last ingredient the Thai curry paste. This one is vegan. There are no animal products in and I always put like one tablespoon, so it's like three small teaspoons. Just gives a nice spice to your soup. If you feel like I feel right now that you need more water and more vegetable stock, then you can just boil some water and put some extra water in to make it nice and creamy and not too thick. So once you put everything in, you just put the fire up a little bit so it starts boiling. And once it's, bo it's boiling, you just put the lid on top and then just simmer it for like at least half an hour. And then it must be ready, I think, because I've made quite a lot this time. It will probably be 40 minutes, but normally it's like 30 minutes or 40 minutes to simmer it and yeah, enjoy your soup. So the soup is ready. You know when you touch the butternut squash and you touch the carrot, it's super soft. So that's when you know it's completely ready. It's super soft and it smells delicious. So this is all ready. I'm gonna make sure I have this to protect myself because I never know what's going to happen when I put it on. I'm actually fine. <laughs> Just gonna take this one. It smells delicious. So you can just put some pepper and salt. I'm gonna put some fresh coriander 
And that's it basically. You don't have to do anything more with the soup because I use the curry paste, it's high curry paste. And it's already so, there's so much flavor already in that one. So you don't need to do too much because you want to keep it pure. And you don't want to kind of put too many flavors in because you're just going to confuse everyone. Because the fresh, the orange gives it a nice kind of sweet taste. The Thai curry paste is quite spicy, so you have a nice spice. And then with the coriander, you're actually finished. You just need some pepper and salt. You don't want to cut the coriander too small as well. So I'm just gonna put this in. I'm gonna save a little bit of the coriander for when I serve my soup in a little bowl. Put this one here. I just love the colors. You can see the nice orange yellow from the butternut squash and the carrots and then you have the lovely green color from the coriander it just looks amazing and the soup is nice and thick so it's like a proper meal actually but you can use it as a starter for Christmas and it just smells amazing and don't worry if you have a little bits of carrots and butternut squash that are not blended properly because it's actually quite nice to have a little bit of chunkiness in your soup as well. I think mine is blended pretty well, but don't worry about it if it's not completely blended because it's actually nice. So yes, I'm just going to put some salt, just a pinch of salt with a pinch of pepper. Like I said, because I use the curry paste, the seasoning is already perfect, so you don't need to use too much. It's really nice and thick. I don't want to get all the curry paste all over me, but you can see the thickness. I'm just gonna try if it's salty enough. Oh, it's perfect. It's really, really nice. So yeah, this is all ready. I'm gonna clean this up and serve it in a nice bowl and enjoy my soup. This is all finished it looks amazing thank you guys so much for watching let me know how you get on with the butternut squash soup and i hope you use it for christmas because it's cold outside and everyone loves a nice and warm soup it's the perfect time of the year to make this right now so i'm going to make a few videos for christmas now so i'm going to make some desserts and just just let me know how you get on and make sure you watch the next one as well and i hope to see you next time bye bye